Open up the safe, bitches got a lot to say. To see any face that'll put you in your place. Seven letters on the plate, fuck you when I break. I got car. draw a body, first I start with the head, neck, and then a square for the chest. From there, I add a little space for the stomach region, a circle, and then start carving out where the legs are going to be. I add elbows for thighs, and the same for the arms. And then one more to make the calf. Do the same for the arms, and add hands and legs. You all on yours. Ooh, uh, it's like that. He ain't never leaving, no coming right back. I know that he need it, cause sure they gon' bite back. And he don't want nobody else to end it like that. Before I die, I'm trying to fuck you, baby. Hopefully we don't have no babies I don't even wanna go back home Hopefully you don't leave my home Before I die, I'm tryna fuck you, baby Hopefully we don't have no teaching you how to draw koi fish. Start out with an oval, then draw a line that follows the curve of their body. Use that line to guide you when drawing the rest of the body. It should look like a long teardrop. Add the basic shape of their tail and their fins. Accentuate the shape of their head, then add more lines and curves for definition. Give him a cute mustache. And also, don't forget the fin on top of their body. Next, outline with a pen. Do not outline the bottom of the fins. Add some more details to the face, including some curves and some lines. For the fins, use a hair-like stroke. 
at the end of the tail, I add a curved W shape and continue to draw the lines out of that. Now for the bottom of the fins, pretend you're drawing one of them heart monitor lines. It should look like uneven stairs. You can add little wisps at the end of the fins. Then just add cow-like patterns. Hey, old Breezy. Let me show you how to keep the dice rolling when you're doing that thing over there. Hey, 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 Let's go! Cause I'm feeling like I'm running and I'm feeling like I gotta get away, get away, get away. Better know that I don't and I won't ever stop. Cause you know I gotta win every day, day. Start out with three circles. Make sure that the circle in the middle is bigger than the two on the side. If you want a wider nose, make sure that the circle in the middle looks a little bit more stretched out like this. And if you want a more narrow nose, make sure it kind of looks like a rounded out upside down triangle. Like that. I'll try to show y'all the end result of these if you have enough time. Draw a line at the bottom of the big circle, and this is kind of where both of the nostrils are going to meet. Then draw two lines under the two small circles. Then you connect them. Sometimes I add a line underneath just to give it some depth. Then I do two half circles for the outer nostril. I don't know if that's the right terminology, but I'm just going to use it for this video. Erase your outlines. You can do a circle in the center of the nose just to emphasize where the light hits the nose. Or you could just leave it. It doesn't really matter. But I think I'm going to shade mine because I'm dramatic. Much better. I almost forgot to show you the other two. And that's it. Here's one shape I learned that changed my art. Draw two squiggles that come to a point. Then just continue it from the inside and repeat the pattern. You can use this technique for grass, hair, ribbons, bandages, and even horns. You can shade roughly or take a fancier approach. Mm -hmm. 